you've made it to Cairo Hustle Live. Sit back and learn from the greatest influencers in the profession. This episode is brought to you by Close for Cairo, Cairo Sushi, Barbara Eaton's 56 Day Chiropractic Boot Camp, Mouveau University, Pure Cairo Notes, Dr. Alok Trivedi, The Black Diamond Club, Element Mattresses, Legacy Wealth Management, Posture Screen, Vita Chiropractic, The Universal Traction System, MedZone, Vantage Point Marketing, and Imaging Services. Let's hustle. Here we are doing a special episode of Palmer Rugby interviews today. Um, we're gonna be featuring uh, Carol Wright Smith. She is somebody that's never played a liquor rugby in her life, <laughs> but somehow it became so much a part of her life. And uh, before we get into Carol's story, um, we're going to just say this episode is brought to us by Presolvent, and they help with uh, credit card processing. So if you are in the need for some um, back-end work to make sure that your money's going back to the right place, um, we can definitely help you with those processes. But welcome to the show, Carol. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, this is going to be rocking. Uh, we've known each other for, uh, I don't know, 10 years now or something. You actually something, hosted me, something you actually like that, hosted yeah. me and my uh, video team at your house. And yep. uh, we uh, helped uh, create a recruiting uh, little short video, 16 minutes long, for recruiting for Palmer Rugby. That's still uh, quite popular. But um, let's just talk a little bit about Palmer Rugby and how you got involved with that whole thing and uh, start from there. Oh, wow. Um, that goes clear back to like 1984. I was 18 years old. My sister was going through the uh, uh, assistance program at Palmer. I'm from Bettendorf, Iowa. And uh, she's like, you got to come out and watch this game. So <laughs> I remember watching this crazy game and, uh, you know, watching people like uh, Dr. Mark Castile and Dr. Scott Castile and Dr. Tom Dickerson, all these guys playing and, uh, you know, just started following the game of rugby then and just it kind of stuck. <laughs> And, and you were earlier saying how you uh, grew up in the Quad Cities and how you uh, got in some type of uh, accident that you started getting adjusted and started oh, helping yeah. with some of your symptoms you were having because of the accident. Exactly. When I was 19, I um, turned in front of somebody, stupid accident, um, totaled my car, major concussion. My sister, she was like, you got to come see my doc and start getting adjusted, you know, because she saw the docs in the clinic. And so I started getting care and lo and behold, my, I suffered from migraine headaches ever since I was in second grade. And um, I thought it was just one of those things that I was just going to have to live with because my dad had migraines. I just thought it was hereditary type of thing. And mm -hmm. so lo and behold, my migraines started getting better. And I was actually passed down from rugby player to rugby player to rugby player in the <laughs> clinic and, uh, you know, really got um, just... I don't suffer from migraines anymore. So because of that, I decided, you know, if chiropractic can help me, um, you know, and get rid of my migraines man, what else, what else can it do? And so um, I changed my path. Originally I was going to be um, a physical terrorist, oh, physical therapist, excuse me. <laughs> and um, decided, you know, I remember uh, Dr. Charles bro, he was just like, why don't you just become a chiropractor? And I'm like, why don't I? And so changed my path and, here I am today. Yeah. That's, so that's, it's really, really because of a lot of the, you know, older rugby players that have been around for forever. Um, and the reason why I chose this path. So, you know, my story is quite similar to yours. Um, mm -hmm. I grew up in the Quad Cities in Davenport, Iowa, and I actually started, like I was telling you off camera, that I started as a, um, a patient going through Palmer and I'd have somebody mm -hmm. that took care of me until they got their numbers. And if any of you guys are out there, gals are out there listening, <laughs> you, you know what it's like to need your numbers and you know what it's like to get your adjustments and your, your clinic experience and all, having awesome people as your patients like Carol and myself. Mm -hmm. and, th and then you never know how far reaching um, your effect will have on the future patient that you have where you went on to become a doctor. I went on to become a, a, an advocate for the profession. Exactly. It's just, it's an amazing, amazing group. And, you know, I think that it's really cool to discuss this type of stuff because people don't realize how far reaching something that they do might have the effect on millions or billions tomorrow. And I think going full circle for both of us, um, rugby and Palmer have had a profound impact on both of us. Um, oh, and definitely. 
And, and then let's talk a little bit about Palmer Rugby and how um, you've become such a supporter of that over the years. Well, Palmer Rugby is, I mean, that's how I met my husband. So, you know, we, we both went to school. I, I graduated a, a year ahead of him, but I met him because I was still following the rugby team. And it was one of those things was I met him while, play, while he was playing, while he was doing his prerequisites. And so it, Palmer Rugby is what's, you know, held us together, you know, between him, you know, playing scholarship and, you know, the trips and then all the old boys trips. And, you know, it's just it's it's really just kind of where we've headed and um, just a big it was a big part of our, our lives of where we got to where we are today. And so we've just always, you know, been been there. That's just that's just been our, our life. It's just I can't imagine. I, you know, people go, well, why? And I'm like, I can't imagine not being involved with Palmer Rugby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that it's a great group of people that they put out, and uh, I think that, that that's honestly why chiropractic has uh, gone global and why there's so many chiropractors around the world that actually um, it's because of the seeds that, uh, that Palmer planted. And yep. you, know, you can see the impact that it's having today. And I know that off camera also you're talking about how your boys are going to be going to Palmer. Um, let's yeah. talk a little bit about um, Alex and Stephen. Um, Stephen uh, currently is in Colorado and he will be uh, moving to Davenport uh, around October, finish up his prerequisites. Um, Alex is currently up in Davenport and has played uh, with the Palmer team and he's finishing up his prerequisites at Scott. He just made the Dean's list this last semester. So real proud of him for that. Um, he's up there with a wife and two kids and, you know, ready to, to, on his pathway. So he's supposed to start in October as well. So he's up there and just doing well. Well, that's one avenue for helping support Palmer, right, is to get exactly. uh, get students enrolled into the program to where we push out uh, future doctors. Um, right. And I think that that's amazing. And I think that's that's one way to help. And that's, uh, we'll, we'll put the portal that people can uh, actually, if they're interested in sending students to Palmer, um, they don't have to play rugby, but there's a portal that we'll post for how to send students to Palmer College um, in the in the chat feed down there. Um, Alex says, hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he must be watching. So there we go. Hi, mom. <laughs> there we go. Hi, mom. Hi, Alex. <laughs> So, so let's talk a little bit about how people can help at, at uh, Palmer and not just with rugby, but Palmer as a college. Um, I know there's three tenets that we talk about all the time is time, talent, and treasure. Um, let's talk right. a little bit about how people can get involved, how easy it is to help. Um, as far as uh, talent wise, I mean, I've never played. So, you know, my involvement <laughs> uh, talent wise is just, you know, being being a support system, and um, uh, I'm I'm drawing a blank now. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, you know what what you do, I think, is uh, interesting. Is you guys host uh, the team down there yeah. with your uh, with your with your time and with your treasure. You guys host everybody down there for what you guys. I think it's called the Elvis Sevens. Elvis Sevens. It's the first uh, weekend every August. It's usually the hottest weekend of the year. And uh, the, it started off with just like a minimum eight people coming down. It really was started from uh, rugby players that were also uh, Pie Brothers. And they made this Motley Crew team and they came down and won the tournament. And then so the next year it was like, oh, we've got to up that and up that. And it, it got up to, I think the largest group we had was almost 50 um, staying at the house. <laughs> uh, between the men's team and the women, it started off just men's team. And then all of a sudden we had men's and women's team and people go, how do you have all those people in your house? It's like all the furniture is moved out. It is uh, air mattress heaven. And they just, wherever their body lands, that's where they land. And uh, so it's just, it's one of those weekends where it's, it's a fast in and it's a fast out. We have a, have a rule. They have to leave by, noon on Sunday because we've had them stay longer than noon and that usually doesn't work out very well for Monday morning. <laughs> but well, it, it's a fun weekend. It really it's is. Really, it's really cool to hear how you, you're, you know, you've 
built your family around uh, rugby and how your kids are going to Palmer. And uh, that's that's super cool because I think that the future for healthcare is chiropractic. And, you know, you telling your story about how chiropractic helped you. Obviously, people that are out there watching know that I was an elite athlete. And uh, when I was injured playing high school football, um, chiropractic helped me stay, you know, active in football. And then I went mm-hmm. on to get a scholarship to play soccer. So I've never played a lick of rugby either. But I do know that um, <laughs> chiropractic helps with uh, the rugby squad and it helps them stay active and it keeps them healthy and helps with their uh, subluxations and their injuries and allows them yeah. to heal naturally. And I, I know that those are things that um, Palmer has always done. And um, the rugby started back there. I think this shirt says it. No, it doesn't. But it's uh, 1960. So the program's been around for a long time. And uh, yeah. David Palmer started the program to spread athletic excellence around the world and to spread chiropractic around the world. And that's mm-hmm. honestly, I think that um, it, it's a cool story when it comes to how Palmer Rugby started and how the chiropractic profession benefited from it. Right. And, you know, Palmer Rugby has always been, you know, a very um, close knit group. And they also help each other so much. I mean, not only in school, you've got, you know, study buddies or, um, you know, when you've got something going on, they're always there to help out. And even when you get out of school, there's such a strong support system between from speakers to ideas and helping, you know, from the, as docs have been out for a little bit longer, you know, you've always got that availability to help a younger uh, doc as they're entering in saying, you know, don't make the mistakes that we've made here and, and kind of help guide them in pathways that that's going to be beneficial for the profession in general. Well, this is a little off topic, but one of the Palmer brothers is out here in Grand Junction and I went hiking with Zach Lujan yesterday. Oh, fun. <laughs> You've made it to Cairo Hustle Live. Sit back and learn from the greatest influencers in the profession. This episode is brought to you by Close for Cairo, Cairo Sushi, Barbara Eaton's 56-Day Chiropractic Boot Camp, Muvo University, Pure Cairo Notes, Dr. Alok Trevetti, The Black Diamond Club, Element Mattresses, Legacy Wealth Management, Posture Screen, Vita Chiropractic, The Universal Traction System, MedZone, Vantage Point Marketing, and Imaging Services. Let's hustle. So, you know, it's like we have this this web of like uh, influencers all over the world now. And, uh, you know, not just the United mm-hmm. States, but there's, there's guys all over the place and gals all over the place. Let's talk a little bit more, switch gears to uh, the rugby mm-hmm. scholarships that are now going. I think they have 30 rugby scholarships. Let's talk a little bit about that. And then, yeah, people, can, then people can actually give some of their treasure to help support the future of Palmer and the future of rugby as well. Exactly. Well, like I said before, um, my husband, Dr. Dale Smith, went through school on a rugby scholarship. And um, it, it's so important because it it allows those students who have a, a, a talent of playing rugby to be able to get through school with a little bit less of, of student loans out there, because that's such a debilitating thing right now. When you look at all the different schools out there, um, I remember uh, Dr. Mark Iori talking about why Palmer is the school to go to because we have such a decreased amount of student loan, um, decreased, the least amount of student loans default. That's what I'm trying to say. And I really think when you add a rugby scholarship to that, that just gives, you know, even more of a benefit. And when, when Dale was going through school, I think there was like less than 50 or 15 or so scholarships. So, those were all divvied up between players where now there's a large enough amount to where students are actually, there's more availability for students to be helped. And, you know, if it helped Dale and you saw what's Mm -hmm. happened in his career, now imagine when we like, you know, we cascade that down to multiple chiropractors coming out of school that have the ability to give back to their communities and to be successful doctors without that that same debt load as somebody else that wasn't in this program. Exactly. And, you know, what did he do? He, he how, how many, I mean, I'm not, I don't want you to speak for Dale, but how many people has he influenced to go to Palmer? Um, I mean, one that just graduated, Dr. Chance Johnson, he, he just finished and he's out practicing now here in the Memphis area. So, you know, it's just 
that's one. And then, you know, of course our kids, I, I, I don't know how many at this point, but um, you know, just at least has touched many of their lives that are of the ones that have uh, been going through school, you know, that from the team. Um, so. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, I think that's really cool though. It's like, you know, we don't know how much influence that we can actually have by helping the future chiropractor. And I think that that's something that really goes into the next part of this conversation, which is the alumni symposium. And that's something that's mm -hmm. going to be happening on the 13th or 14th of April. And yes. uh, you guys are going to have an awesome group of speakers there from Fred Schofield to Roberto Monaco, all the way mm -hmm. to uh, Brad Lowacki and um, um, da, 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 Kevin Heron. Heron. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's going to be like leaders in the profession that are actually going to be teaching people. Um, Alan Sokoloff, who's the uh, chiropractor for the, the Ravens. The Ravens. And, uh, you know, talking about concussions, talking about um, extremities, talking about business, mm -hmm. talking about um, research with Fred uh, or um, with Deed Harrison. I mm -hmm. mean, the lineup of people that are going to be there speaking. Um, let's talk a little bit about how that event has grown and where we are today with it. Oh, my goodness. We started going to the it was wasn't called the symposium. It was just an old boys get together uh, down in Florida. And um, Dr. Fred Schofield would start had started all that, and it was just you know as one speaker weekend long, and um, now it's just such a, a a large event where not only is it hitting you know all of us um, who support Palmer Rugby and and you know the old boys getting together that sort of thing, but it's also touching people who have nothing to do with Palmer Rugby. They can still come hear awesome speakers get a well-rounded uh, CE weekend because you get credit for it. Mm -hmm. And um, it's it's just, you know, you, you get a, a diverse group to listen to. So that's what's neat about the symposium is it's really diversified in, in the speakers that they're having and the quality of speakers. I mean, who, who wouldn't want to hear, you know, not only – get fired up philosophy, but also research and maybe a new technique on how to adjust a shoulder that's different than what they learned in school. So mm -hmm. that's what's neat about the symposium. And I think the guy we didn't mention in there was some homegrown talent and that's Matt Hartenberg. And yes. uh, see, seeing like a, a, a underling come up and like shine, I think is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. as well. I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing his, his section because I'm, I'm not quite sure what's going to come out of Matt's mouth. So it's kind of, you know, some of those speakers, you kind of know what you're going to get when you get there. But um, so it's, this is going to be interesting. I'm, I'm, I look forward to it. Well, we'll so also proud of it too. Yeah, me too. And we'll also put some links into the, the chat feed down there of uh, how to um, sign up for the Rugby Alumni Symposium and uh, how you guys can get involved too. And I think, you know, just from my my perspective, it's worth your time and money just to come see Dr. Fred Schofield speak. Oh, yeah. So yeah. if you guys are getting like six or five more other speakers there, um, yeah, representing the woman, Walker, Walker's on the feet of this now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I know that that's a good segue for this question before we before we wrap up. Um, gotcha. You guys are actually offering 15 of those scholarships for women rugby, right? I believe so. Yes. That and, no, those numbers. That's that's kind of a. That's not your wheelhouse. Not sure. That's not my wheelhouse, but I know <laughs> that there's a large number of women's uh, players that do get scholarship, and um, you know would really love to see more women be back involved in the alumni uh, arena with with the Palmer Symposium and such. Yeah, and here's a number that I'm just going to throw out there that's uh, a stat that many people probably don't know about, but 50% of all chiropractic students right now enrolled in chiropractic colleges across the country or across the world are, are women. So oh, wow, that's gone we, up. Okay. We, we now have a, uh, you know, a uh, balanced uh, you know, student base uh, between the man and the woman going in, and I think eventually the woman will edge into um, taking the majority of those uh, – positions coming out as chiropractors. So yes, you are right. We should have more women back supporting the future of chiro chiropractic, especially mm -hmm. at Palmer. Yes, exactly. I mean, I would, I'd really love to see, you know, I, I hang out with the, the guys all the time. I'd like to have more gals to hang out with. So, you know, that, we need them to come back. We need them to give back and uh, be an active uh, participant in what got them through school. So so, so here's the numbers they're in, uh, 20 men's scholarships and 10 uh, women's scholarships. 
So it's it's um, it's a way to give back to both programs now. Where mm -hmm. I remember it used to only be uh, driven towards the, the the men's scholarships for um, Palmer Rugby. Right. Well, the the women's team is um, in years wise is is a, still just a baby compared to the men's team as as long as how long it's been around. But um, I love the fact that the women's team has come a long way. Uh, Dr. Chance Johnson did a great job with them uh, for the last several years. And then uh, now Doc, uh, Tabitha, I believe, is uh, who's running the team. And she's just taken them right from where they ended. And it's just that perpetual motion that people want to be part of that team. So they're they're doing well. Well, I'm really excited to come back and spend time with the Palmer Rugby family and to be at the symposium uh, April 13th and 14th. And I know that mm -hmm. anybody else that's out there that wants to get involved with uh, the event, um, there will be links. I'm sure I can get Dale or Matt to put them into the comments here. <laughs> but uh, is there anything that I didn't ask you that you'd like to touch on? Um, I don't I think so. I think we covered just about everything other than, you know, just, people just need to give back. It's really easy to give back. In other words, it doesn't mean that you have to devote, you know, I know new docs out, you know, they're worried about finances and such, and they don't need to devote a whole lot of money to give back to Palmer. Um, they can start out small. They can start out as little as $50 a month. And if you think about it, that's, you know, okay, put your Starbucks money aside and, and, and give back to what got you to where you are today. So it doesn't take much. And if they don't have that, come back to the symposium or, you know, when the when the team is close to where you're at, go support them when they're playing. So just just there's many different ways you can give back. It doesn't have to be, you know, thousands of dollars every month. So and I think that that's a good uh, good segue to say, hey, if you guys don't have the money to give, give uh, your effort and uh, mm -hmm. you know, go back and, and join the join the family and uh, spend time with the people that, uh, you know, that you were on the field with. And uh, yeah. just another note that the Rugby Alumni Symposium, the speakers, that opportunity is for everybody in chiropractic. Mm -hmm. It's not just for the Palmer rugby team. And exactly. With that being said, um, I'm just going to say thank you to Presolvent again for um, supporting this episode for their credit card processing. That's helping. They're many, awesome. That's helping many chiropractors give back through passive usage of something that's already going to be in their chiropractic practice, and that's a credit card processor which Persolvent gives back a certain percentage of every, um, I think every uh, transaction done back to Palmer yep. Rugby. Yep, they do. And they're, they've got the best rates out there. Um, we bit the bullet, you know, we, we held back. It was one of those things like, oh, we're, we're fine with our credit card company. We, we were liking them. And then we finally decided, you know what, we need to just bite the bullet. And we're so glad we did because the rates are much better than what we were getting. And it's just, just an easy system to use, it really is. Well, at that point, um, appreciate you, Persolvent, for supporting Palm Rugby. And I'm just going to go back through the comments here and uh, recognize a couple of people that commented in. We have Elizabeth Baker. Um, she's down there in Memphis with you. Mm -hmm. um, Daryl Smith, your husband. Uh, what a beautiful chiropractor he has, he says. And uh, then, then we get some more family in there. Your son, Alex, says, hi, Mom. Um, <laughs> Matt Walker representing the women, which is uh, highly important. We need the woman's voice to be highlighted in all arenas of chiropractic. And uh, then we have the confirmation from your husband, 20 men scholarships and 10 women. And with that, Elizabeth I Baker's just, in, in Nashville, by the way. Oh, she's in Nashville. Baker's in Nashville. Yeah, Brentwood. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> Baker, uh, keep on rocking out there. I know you're a huge supporter of the Cairo Hustle movement. Um, just want to say love and appreciate all of you that tuned in today. And uh, just keep ticking and everybody, uh, you know, keep, keep uh, getting those uh, chiropractic messages out there and just keep telling the story. And uh, thank you, Carol, for being on the show. Thanks, today. Jim, for having me. I appreciate it. Okay, we'll see you soon. All right, thanks. All right. Thank you for listening to Cairo Hustle Live. Don't forget to subscribe and check back next week to continue hustling.